Hello everyone, today I will be showing you everything new with the Wicker Bottom rework. Her downsides have been worsened. Now any healing item will not give Wicker Bottom health if it's even a little bit spoiled and makes it to the yellow part. Not even Pyrogi can heal Wicker Bottom here. Now that that's out of the way, let's move on to the massive amount of new books. To craft some of them, you'll need to first make a book cabinet. It's basically just Wicker Bottom's crafting station, though it is pretty neat. You have 20 slots to store only papyrus and books, but the books restore their durability over time in here, which is nice. It means that even if some of the books here seem useless to you, it's probably still worth crafting them just because you can restore their durability for free in here. The first new book is the Angler's Survival Guide, which spawns a bunch of fish in the sea. This might actually be really good for that pearl fishing quest no one does, since it does look like there's a variety of fish that can spawn here. Pyrokinetics explained will put out any fires that spawn, which is always nice for summer. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, it won't restore anything that is burnt. Luckily, this is a second use. Anytime you use this book, you get this fire pen. The fire pen functions exactly like the fire staff, but better. The more fires you extinguish, the more shots you can take with the fire pen. It's kind of like a renewable fire staff. You extinguish two fires and then you have two fires that you can put anywhere. Overcoming arachnophobia would make you think that it lets you tame spiders, but sadly, all it does is slow them down on this web you spawn. Probably the worst book they added in all honesty. Although it does slow down other mobs, so it probably does have some decent farming potential. Tempering temperatures set your temperature to 35. Uh, yeah, that's it. Lux Eterna spawns a light over you, which is surprisingly good. It lasts a long time, so it's definitely good to put over bases in multiplayer servers. Practical Rain Ritual spawns rain, which is amazing if you're one of those people who use the Morning Star, since it does more damage when enemies are wet. What I like about this book is that it also turns off rain, meaning you could turn the rain on, kill whatever it is you want it to kill, and then turn it off. Okay, the next one is crazy. Lunar Grimoire? allows you to summon the full moon. At any day you want, the night will become a full moon, which is amazing for stuff like werepigs, but this also completely changes the moon cycle. You could literally troll people on public servers who want to fight the shadow pieces on a new moon by just spamming this book and never letting the moon cycle change. Apicultural Note spawns a bunch of grumblebees who are now your minions. You can play summoner as wicker bottom now. I used the full inventory of these guys to kill bee queen, which is where I learned two things. These guys don't actually push you, so having a lot of them isn't a problem at all. And also, the books usually drain your sanity, and if you try using them when you have zero sanity, it spawns a nightmare creature. Anyways, I spawned Bee Queen and she proceeded to hijack all my bees, and uh, yeah, that was a fun fight. The Everything Encyclopedia unlocks a bunch of recipes for you that are normally locked behind the alchemy engine and the press the hadditator. A lot of the new books still require the bookshelf to be crafted, so craft it. Horticulture Expanded is just a better version of Horticulture Abridged, and by that I mean it grows 15 plants instead of 10. Well done. <laughs> Why, why would you ever craft this? The last book is just a better version of the one that spawns light being the same size but lasting longer. And that is pretty much the Wicker Bottom rework. It's a surprisingly simple update in design, seeing as all they did was add 11 books, but I think it works out well in its favor. The other thing they did in this update was add a bunch of small changes to other characters who were already reworked. The first being Wartox, who can now teleport anywhere on the map. You can teleport directly directly to Pearl's Island if you have it explored, and then back to the mainland, which is completely broken, but I honestly hope they keep it this way, because this sounds like a lot of fun. The longer you travel, the more souls it costs, meaning it's actually a lot more expensive to fast travel than you think. Speaking of soul hopping, if you soul hop fast enough after hopping once, you get to do it a second time, effectively giving you two soul hops from one soul. I like the way this was implemented, especially since a lot of Wartox players have been asking for this for a while. He also gains a bit of sanity from soul drops, and eating the souls now gives 25 hunger instead of 18, which makes eating them a better option for Wartox. Now I did want to address something before people point out how they made a stronger character even better. Yes, he can heal people and teleport, but he's not as strong as you think he is, especially with his everything 
anything he eats gains half the stats downside. Go watch this video for a better explanation, I don't play this guy at all. There's a few Walter changes, but they are nothing major, and Winona's hunger drain after crafting is now lessened if the player is standing still. Apparently this was done to avoid punishing new players who are stuck and looking through the crafting menu. What is this? Why are you... Why are you... Why are you making the game easier for these babies? What the hell, man? Well, you know what? How about Klaus is no longer able to be blocked by the Klaus sack, huh? Who's the baby now, you big 